Welcome to my first video. This is a, a new channel to YouTube that really I haven't used before. But today we're going to do a fun little craft. We're going to make a fish out of modeling clay. Well, really you can use anything you like. But this is the stuff I'm using today. I did not make this, I got this from a store. So, let's get ready. And if you're wondering where I got it, preferably I got it from Michael's. That's pretty much my crafting store. But um, any of your crafting stores, I'm sure they carry modeling clay or something like that. And you can always use Play-Doh. But if you don't have any Play-Doh, make some. I'm sure there's tons of videos on how to make it. Really all you need is salt, water, cream of tartar, um, uh, water... Oh, I said that already, sorry about that. Um, but you can use food coloring to make it colorful. So, if you want to see how to make Play-Doh, just click onto another video. But today I'm showing you how to do a craft. Sorry about that, I switched my background. So first you're going to want to pick the color you want to work with. Today I'm working with this kind of coral color. Now, I don't know, whatever your parents suggest, today I'm going to be using a butter knife. Now this kind of has not very sharp edges, like I can rub my finger against it, but um, make sure you're, it's okay with your parents before you use a, you can see me, hey, uh, before you use um, a knife. Just make sure you ask your parents. But if you're older and you're more crafty, you can use a steak knife or you can, hello again, you can use um, any kind of crafting tool. But if you're a little kid, you can always use toothpicks. I got these toothpicks from the dollar store, so any dollar store really carries them. Alright, let's go on to our body. So we're going to shape out our body, and we're going to kind of want to narrow more end on over here, because that's going to be our head. And then we're just going to get our body, our big little body for a little fishy. Now if you want to cut... If you, this is old, so we're just going to cut out of that. Sorry about that. Uh, we're just going to flatten this out now. So if you want to make like a beta fish or a Siamese fighting fish, you're going to want like a tail that's kind of rigged. But I'm going to use this really nice bright neon pink for my tail. Now, if you are making a beta fish, you're going to have to do a little more work than of the regular fish. But for the little kids, you can just stick with this. Uh, you're just going to want to flatten this out a little bit. So it's about mm, probably a centimeter, no, probably a finger. Finger? Okay, so we're going to make the rigids. So I'm going to use this knife. And I'm just going to slowly make a couple lines. And if you want, you can cut all the way down. Let's just see. It. No. Almost. should be able to just pull it right out. And then you can just go to that side. And then you could just smooth it out with your fingers. And then you can just keep making lines. And you can also use a knife like this to make a cool pattern. And we're just going to pretend we're kind of slicing. And if you want to cut out another piece, just kind of take it here and just slowly work it through. And take it again. Watch your fingers. Please be careful. And just kind of Slice it. 
And then we can just take our knife and we can just kind of dab it in. This could also work for a body, you know, just like kind of going like that. And you know it doesn't look very good on camera, but trust me, it looks great where I, my perspective. So you can also just kind of make it droop over here a little bit and flatten it out like that. And then you can just add an eye and a little smile. And this is where your toothpick comes in, little kids. And you can just put a smile. This will take a little bit of time just to see. And just kind of go like that. Just like that, and you can even make the fish like that. But we're gonna go ahead and stick with my original plan. Kind of got excited there. But there we go. So there's my tail. I'm gonna flatten that out. Kind of got excited, and we're just gonna flatten it out. And you can always just take it and roll it to you. Okay, so our tail's done. Here's our body. I have some more, and I'm going to use some green. So rip that off. I could have used my knife, but I'm not going to. We're going to move these out of the way. And we're going to just... little pieces just kind of like this. I'm going to work with one piece right now because we're going to make the eyes. And we're just going to kind of make it into a ball. You can use it. Oh. Use the technique. But we're going to take our salmon color kind of body. We're just going to plant that eye there. Just like that. And if you really want to make it detailed, let's take your toothpick. I kind of hold my toothpick like this because my hands are big enough. Just to kind of get a good grip. And you can just kind of... Make some details, if you like. You don't have to. And I don't want to, so I'm just going to flip it around. Okay, so we're going to use do our mouth. We're going to need the tiniest little piece you cut. Because we're going to roll it out. And it's going to be your smile. Now, I think that's too big of a smile. So, just to make a fine cut, we're going to use this. And just kind of cut it like that. And we're going to put the smile. There. So we have our back fin. Just like that. And we're going to go ahead and cut. It. You can take this completely off. If you have any little pieces. Cut it off, you don't need it. We're throwing it away. Say to it, we don't need you anymore. And you're just gonna kinda. You might wanna take the eye off, but there we go. And you're just gonna. Cut. cut. And. Kinda like you're scooping out of guts. So we have a place to put us our um fit. And we're just gonna kinda 
kind of go like this. Now it doesn't go fully in. This is where that extra piece I actually took off comes in handy. So we're going to kind of put it in like this. We're going to put my eye back. I'm just rolling it again. And put our eye on. Coming along. And if you really want to get crafty, you can always add a middle fin. Just like this. Just kind of make it into a triangle again. And just make some of those. Little lines. Plant that right on. And there you have it. There's your little cartoon fish. Made out of modeling clay. And that took us about 10 minutes. With my long, long intro. So there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, subscribe. Um, and have a wonderful day. Thank you so much. I hope you had fun with this video. Bye.